It's been a long time coming. What's up, you guys? Um, I decided to wear the beanie because my hair looked terrible, but it's been six long years since I've last shown my face on camera. So yeah, um, welcome back. I'm just gonna be reflecting on the last six years of my life, but I'm only gonna talk about like the most important stuff that's obviously happened to me or like any major events that's happened. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started. I guess the first thing that I should primarily focus on is by the time I last showed my face on camera, I was in the process of moving schools from my favorite old school. Um, until this day, I still deep down miss that school with all my heart because not only did that school have like incredible staff, I know it was still elementary, but like all my teachers were absolutely amazing. And it wasn't until seventh grade where I found out one of my favorite teachers, Miss Davis, who was my third grade teacher, had passed away because of cancer. Um, and while she may have had her bad sides, um, she was still such an awesome teacher, honestly. She so it wasn't until fifth grade year where I finally moved out from my old school to my new school, which is Pinnacle Charter School, and it still is to this day. I'm most sophomore in high school now, just to let you know. And it was an odd transition for me, honestly, because not only was the lunch even more worse than it was in my old school, but there were a lot of new faces that I had to get used to for a while. Um, it wasn't until sixth grade where I finally was able to recognize almost everyone at the school. Middle school was honestly rough for me. Um, not only because I, I never tried in school, or at least in middle school, um, because I finished like my sixth grade year with like two Fs. I was almost grounded for the entire summer. Um, the seventh grade wasn't wasn't that good either. I still failed in class. And then eighth grade was the only year where I actually passed every single one of my classes. And the funny thing was, the only reason why I passed is because of a final project in my social studies class. Um, the project bumped me up like um, 6 or 7% and it was enough because I still remember the exact percentage to this day. It was a 60.04% and that's what allowed me to go to continuation. So yeah, I recommend actually trying in school and not being a smart ass, lazy ass son of a bitch like I was. Um, because it can actually really affect you, honestly. So, yeah. And also in high school, I had a extremely rough start to my freshman year. Um, because, because of how much I was so affected from my middle school days, it carried on to my high school. Um, because I failed my first semester of high school with three Fs. Um, the next semester, I really had to bust my ass a shit ton because I knew if I had fucked up even if I had fucked up even more I would have um I could have been possibly stayed with the freshman and I, that'd be super embarrassing honestly so far my sophomore year has also been a lot more better um fortunately I was able to recover and I was finally be able to actually do a lot more stuff I'm actually doing my homework nowadays um I'm not being a lazy ass. While sometimes I could mess around a shit ton in class, I still make sure I do all the work, so yeah. I am so grateful, honestly, because I have such an awesome group of friends that really helped me through the top times. And I couldn't thank them enough for everything that they've done for me. So that was a little montage for you uh, of my awesome friends. So I'm gonna go on to the next topic and that is me being an idiot during school. So if you couldn't tell already right here, what I'm doing is I'm running around the halls and shirtless being an idiot sophomore that I am. As you can tell, my friend ever <laughs> recording and there's, and right about here, my friend sees her throwing me my shirt. You know what the funny thing um about that story is that Right next, right outside the bathrooms, there was the computer teacher, and he didn't even notice. His door was fully open, and he didn't even notice me running around the sh school shirtless. The next thing I'm going to talk about is my Microsoft Office uh, certification. Um, 
I'm a specialist um, at PowerPoint. I won the certification by getting over a 700 uh, on the test. And to actually prove it to you, it's actually right here. So right there is where the certification is. So if you think I'm dumb, fuck you. Anyways, uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about is, I guess, relationships. Because I have struggled with that, honestly. Um, for over the past two years, I've actually not either talked to anyone. I've honestly just been myself. I don't really um, talk to any girls. I don't know. I've just never really considered like talking to any girls, honestly. Because like, it's not that I don't find um, relationships to be stupid. Um, I just don't. I just haven't been really looking for one, honestly, because I've just been myself over these past two years. Um, yeah, yeah, I've talked to, like, a few girls then and there, but, like, I don't know. For some reason, something just kicks in, and it just tells me that I should just be myself and don't have to focus on really anyone else. But, as if you recall, in the montage, there's actually someone I kind of have a crush on. But, fortunately, she doesn't know, so we're all good here, so... Yeah, I think that might be it for this video. I think I talked about enough. Um, hope you guys have had a fantastic day. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And see you next time.